Now uh, we are at the end of making the actionable, actionable output. I uh, saw some hands that I have experienced the Yara and you know, Snort. So, but you know, for in general, uh, for the all the uh, you know, all the uh, students benefit. Let's see. Maybe you have uh, used the Yara Snort maybe some years ago. So let's you know then you can just you know, remember it. So you have you know analyze all the malware, but at the end you need to have some actual you know actionable you know some uh, tools so that you can detect the malware or you can stop the malware, right? And Yara here, Yara and the uh, open source uh, tool they can you know identify and classify some you know samples based on the pattern match, and this pattern either can be the string or it can be some binary content, right? And it's very lightweight and it can be used since it's based on the for Firebase. I think it can it be used against the registry. Probably it can or it cannot, but if you can, they can kind of make a wrapper type of. So, anyway, so Yara is basically you can do the parameter against a lot of files and it is very fast. So, you can use uh, one user that can be a, you know, a mail server. Once attachment comes in, and you can just run the all Yara signatures and then check if your know, attachment has any you know, malicious uh, signature in it. And how it looks like is there is going to be role. This is the uh, uh, Yara keyword, and this one is the identifier. You can put any uh, name that can start either alpha, alpha value, I think I cannot start with the number, but either alphabet or the underscore. And this one is for the uh, classification, like in the grouping. So you don't have to have uh, this part. However, you can, you should have this identifier here, right? And it starts with curly bracket, and metadata part is optional. And streams and conditions, I think it's both are mandatory. It should be there, here, all right? So, any question about the uh, eligible part? So, I mentioned the, about the uh, uh, identifier and string definition. It start with the, uh, gonna be just like a variable. You start with the dollar sign. And if it's a string, text string, you start with the uh, double quotation. So, if it's a text string, call it working. And regular expression is, uh, uh, Enclosed with the flashes, but for our lab, we will use just text, right? We will focus on the text. The reason being is we didn't actually uh, learn details about the P file format underneath. So, and for not only that, we uh, didn't require the assembly language at the background. So, once you know the assembly language, then you can even open up in a sample and then look up in you know, the uh, assembly code and then see how this is very unique for this particular malware that you can write a signature based on the uh, binary pattern, right? And in the condition uh, the part here, you can do either logical, like a Boolean uh, and or not, and you can do it whether, you know, if you're counting the number of strings, you can put the uh, relational this, uh, operation operator here, and you can do other that arithmetic and the uh, bitwise. And here in the counting number, Later on, this one I I do want you to use some you know counting the number of strings because we will write a signature based on the string, right? 